Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. So, today is the long awaited. <laughs> Get ready with me. I'm laughing because really, I'm not any kind of an expert. I do put makeup on every day because I like to do that. Not always, you know, the full face, but um, I wouldn't really leave the house without a bit of like, the minimum blusher, lipstick and mascara. So quite a few people have asked me uh, to do one of these. So I am. And a lot of people have been commenting on my skin recently. And it is in pretty good condition. And I think a lot of that is genetics. But nonetheless, I have been lucky enough to be gifted um, some facial devices that I think are helping and working. So I've shown you the LED mask before and I will link everything below in the description box. I was using those religiously every other day, but now it's probably twice a week. Because there is a limit, you know. I'm not, I'm not a model. I just want to look as good as I can look for my age, really. And um, I have had Botox in the past a long time ago. I will never do that again. And um, the last time I had it, it really, well, for me, it was a disaster. I absolutely hated it because, and I read a thing recently and it said why. And as you get older, you have to be able to lift your eyebrows up to kind of keep your eye open. And um, because she put so much on my forehead, it kind of pushed my eyebrows down like this. And I hated it. I mean, I can't tell you how much I hated it. So, and I would never have fillers. You know, I have seen people in the past just to inquire about fillers because of these lines here. But I haven't seen, you know, it's really dodgy is all I'll say. And I'd rather not risk it. So... I'm here mostly today to show you this micro current mini mini new face micro current device and um I mean it's so compact isn't it and so nice to hold and basically it delivers a micro current so you have to put on the gel to conduct the micro currents and then the currents stimulate your muscles in your face so a little bit like you do that facial yoga which I've got the book for that but you know haven't done that either um it's it stimulates the muscles to kind of perk up because you know when you get older everything heads south it's not big enough for your bum um so you're supposed to use this five times a week for five minutes at a time My hair's all falling out I'm going to do a full like hair and makeup so you lucky people and uh, I've got the br most brilliant offer for because they were coming up to Black Friday and my code is Helen NF for new face and it's going to bring the price down by 50% from £184 to £92 which is phenomenal really £92 I mean some facials cost you that so I'm going to show you how I use it first of all I'm going to apply the aqua gel I'm going to do one half of my face and hopefully we can see an instant um, improvement. So I'm, I'm going to put the gel on as I need it because otherwise it just sort of dries up. So you mustn't do the middle of your throat here because of your thyroid. Um, but you can do the sides. And so I've just put a thin layer of gel on here. And then you choose your power. I'm going to go three, which is the highest level. It doesn't hurt or anything. Um, and so then you just always kind of go the way you want the muscles to go. Waiting for the beep. Can you hear that beep? So it's just going along my jawline. It's quite a nice sensation, actually. I usually do this while I'm just watching the telly because once you've done it in the mirror, 
you don't really need to do it in the mirror anymore you can just um do it so put a little bit more gel on oh we've got a disaster here this morning there's no water so i've only got the water that was left in the tank so it's it's you know it's terrifying really how you normally waste water so i've had a bath this morning washed my hair in the bath and then left the water in the bath so that we can flush the toilet <laughs> so that's kind of done that area wait for the beep and then i'm going to move up to the the next area of my face oops beeping away you can you can feel a very slight tingle but nothing worth talking about oh hold on there's my daughter calling so where was i yep yeah, that was katie because of course the schools are shut so um fun and games so i'll apply some more of this because what i've applied is all dried up now you can just wet it if you want it to um like rejuvenate it turn the machine back on as i say i use it on the three it it doesn't like it, it's just almost like i don't know it kind of leaves your face feeling a bit tingly afterwards And then I'm just going to concentrate on these naso, nasal labial light, label, oh, I don't know what they're called, but you know, you know what I mean. Anything that helps is my motto. And I think with all these machines, if you're diligent, they work. This is only a temporary thing. Like you can't, you don't kind of do it and, and it's done. You have to do it and keep it. I just keep it. I'll tell you where I keep it. I keep it by the phone. And when I ring mum of a morning, I ring her most days. Um, I'll do a few up here. Although like my, my forehead's not too bad. Put everything that helps lift everything up. Um, I just do it while I'm chatting to her on the phone because it's only five minutes. You feel a little tingle. And nothing more than that. So, I don't know. I don't know if you can see. That definitely, to me, seems to be... plumped up slightly from before so you can use it on whatever areas you want to improve but I do think that um, it's an easy thing to do and it helps so you can get the idea, basically, basically everything you want lifted. You run the balls along that area. And I think you can see that that skin feels plumper than this skin. Can you see? I love it. And... It's actually easier and more convenient to use. I mean, the LED lights, I think, are more about skin um, kind of texture. And this is more about the muscles underneath that support that skin. So anyway, I just think that's a, if you did want to try this, you won't get a better offer, I don't think. And um, yeah, so that's the new face mini. And it comes with everything you need and it's nice that it's cordless as well so I just leave it plugged in when I'm not using it just leave it to charge there 
and that's that so this is just like a hydro gel so i don't have to take that off or anything and now i will just do a quick just a friday get ready with me so as you all know i use the elemis um skincare i usually buy it from qvc on offer because you won't get a better price than that in my experience and i just put that over i freshly it, i don't know i don't know it feels plumper to me but It's not going to work miracles. I mean, it's not a facelift, but I like it. I should have done the other side, shouldn't I? <laughs> I'll tonight when I take my makeup off. I'll I'll do that side. Otherwise, right. So that's the um. face cream and um i am using i'm still using the number seven shield and defend and it's just a tinted moisturizer and unless i'm going out this is all i need and i unless i'm going out i don't use um a primer so shoot me now so it's just a nice light covering I do get fed up with these marks from my glasses. Oh, I, I've, I've bought some new glasses. I'll show you. I haven't got them yet. I ordered them. On the recommendation of uh, a couple of viewers, I went to Asda. And, uh, oh, my, you were right. Whoever said they were good value. Basically, you look at the glasses, the spectacles, and whatever the price is on the, on the frame is what you pay and that includes for very vocals which is fantastic so you can see just a light covering of um foundation i need a new brush i think i think the hairs are coming out that won't be a good look will it if people think i've got a hairy face so that's the foundation and then i have started using recently this blusher a lady asked me about Bobby Brown. I'm going to go and have a word with the consultant in um, John Lewis and see if we can do something in store. So just a little bit of foundation. I don't I try not to go past the outer edge of my eye. And again, always going up. Just. Uh, not overdoing it. I don't want to look like a clown, funnily enough. Just a little bit. If if I overdo it, I just go back in with a foundation brush and kind of go over it to, to blend it out. And then I am, I'm still using this. Do you remember this e.l.f. palette that I showed you? I love it. I use this every day at the moment. And uh, so what I tend to do is um, I've got this brush, which is Bobby Brown. I've obviously, I, I, you know, this is so old. But I just put a little bit of the first colour at the bottom of my lid just to kind of give it a bit of a lift on the edge then and this does work I've been doing this lately and it certainly works and it is interesting because I see myself on camera I can really I mean I am honestly sick of the sight of myself and that's the truth but it's good to see what works and what doesn't work so I'm using this one which is the third one in and I'll link this if I can, if I can remember what it is. And I go in quite high. And that helps to open your eye right up. Can you see? 
that one compared to that one. And I used to always just go in here, but now I just extend that slightly higher than the crease. So it's kind of a crease plus a bit. That's um, makeup terminology. <laughs> The crease plus a bit and then I just bring a little bit of that down into the corner and it just gives quite a natural finish this is just a day makeup because I am going out for lunch with some friends but um you know it's uh just a natural finish then I will go over the whole lot with a nice fluffy ended brush. This is just Max Factor, just to make sure that that's all kind of blended in, that there's no hard lines. I'm quite happy with that. And then I've got this. This is my favourite at the moment. This is C. C-Y-O, C-C-Y-O, I don't know, oh it's from Boots, and this is a coal gel eyeliner and I've been using this a lot and I just go in as tight to my eyelashes as I can and it's really more about making the mascara look thicker, making my eyelashes look thicker than actually an eyeliner if that makes sense. So I just kind of scrub it into uh, the base of my lashes. And that helps add definition to the eyelashes. Like I say, this is just a, a day makeup. I'm still using this uh, Maybelline primer. I use this every day as well. Because I find it really does help to elongate the lashes. And then just let that dry off a little bit. Just blow my eyelashes. And then I'm still using the Kiko mascara. I like it as much as anything else. I don't want to overdo it, but I do uh, want to look the best I can. I'm not going to put any on my lower lashes today. I'm just going to leave it at that because, as I say, it's just a, a basic daytime look. And then for um, my lips, I am using that Wonder Stain an awful lot, but um, today I'm just going to use this NYX Powder Puff. It's kind of got the sponge on the bottom. You just squeeze the product into the sponge, waiting for it to spurt out all over me. So you just get that, you see. Very natural finish. So that's my makeup done. I really, I don't use concealer. I, I'm not a makeup expert, so I'm just going to quickly do my hair, which has dried off quite nicely. One thing I have been using lately, which I'm liking, I'm not sure how much difference it's making, but it's called Three More Inches, and it's by um, Michael 
Van Clark, and he's Nicky Clark's brother. Now, you know, everyone's heard of Nicky Clark, but I didn't realise that his brother was also a hairstylist. And um, this has got UV colour protection, and it's supposed to make your hair stronger and um, healthier. What's really annoying is that I um, also bought his kind of blow dry lotion and I stupidly had it in my hand luggage and because we had to wait so long to um, go through security, he saw it and it was just over 100 mil, so it was confiscated. I wasn't happy. Um, and then I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of the Frizzy Serum because I lost my um, Michael Van Clark. So that's my hair kind of protected. I'm going to get this roller out for what I'm going to do in a second. And currently, you know, I ebb and flow with these things. This is my favourite hair tool at the moment. And this is, um, God, my hair, it's falling out like you wouldn't believe. Fabulous. And this is the one that's got all the different tops that come on and off it. So there's like a dryer, there's a flat brush. And I'm just using this one at the moment. And what I'm doing here, I'm just trying to get the lift at the front of my hair. So, what I do is I dry this bit first and then I put it in a roller. So I just like that lift. So that's nice and warm. That's nice and warm. And I just put that in to hold it while I do the rest of my hair. Oops, making a mess of this. Do you know what? I don't normally have this trouble. There. So then I'm just going to clip this bit up. And I will speed this up for you, but basically I'm just going to go round with this. So I'm just trying to get some lift and some volume into my hair because my hair will drop very, very quickly. So I just noticed a kind of a kinky bit down there. This is very hot. So if you've got fragile hair, I wouldn't use it on the highest setting. So I just kind of go over it all. So I'm going to take that one out now because it's um, falling off anyway. That's it, more or less dry. Um, you know, it, what I've got is just basically a layered bob. So I can kind of wear it several ways. And um, this is just, you know, 
a regular Friday. And uh, so I'm kind of reasonably happy with that. When I've got dressed, because my collar's messing about with my hair at the moment. So once I'm dressed, I will just um, see if it needs anything more. Got a few sticky out bits there, but like I say, my collar's interfering with it. So I'm going to get dressed now and um, I'll come back and show you what I'm wearing and finish my hair off. So that's me dressed. Um, do you remember this? I got this um, from Asda in their special, I think their collection range. And I just put it on with um, a black silk blouse. And uh, it's so comfortable, this dress, honestly. So easy to wear. My boots are downstairs and um, that's me. So I'm not sure how long that offer's going to last on the new face mini. So if, if you do want to give it a go, I wouldn't hang about because I think it'd be a very popular offer. And um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.